We're in the southern part of China. It's humid down here. Whew. Oh boy. Oh shit. In the heart of ancient wonders, the Silk Road resonates, the Great Wall stands tall, and the silent army of terracotta warriors guards the secrets of time. China, a land of mystique and marvels, but there's something else brewing beneath the surface. Embark with me on a journey in the Far East. Amidst the grandeur of history, we'll traverse the landscapes, laugh with the locals, and unravel the essence of a rich and profound culture. So cool. <laughs> that's, that's the nicest thing I've heard all day. Yeah. Hello, okay. Can I take photo with you? Yeah. We'll go beneath the wings of the great rooster to the vibrant island of Hainan. From lush jungles to sun-kissed shores, we'll explore its diverse beauty. Venture further to Guanxi, from the coastal lore of Beihai to the enchanting landscapes of Guilin, where karst mountains paint a majestic backdrop around ancient pagodas. Oh, and did I mention the culinary odyssey? A symphony of flavors accompanied by cold beers. Buckle up, get ready for some surprises, because China, it's not what you'd expect. Yes, even in China, you find the mermaid. There she is right there. Shimbaku, Starbucks, you can find those all over the place. You might be surprised to find that China has a large coffee drinking culture. Traditionally, and still is, a tea drinking society, warm teas, cold teas, but all over the place you can find great coffee shops and even in little villages like this you can get your coffee on if you go to a big city like shanghai like beijing in fact you can find many many hipster local specialty coffee shops that have better coffee than you'd find in coffee bars in italy i know hang me up in the middle of a piazza in milan but it's true while well, we're in some back roads on the island of hainan oh boy oh shit <laughs> We met the farmer. Hey, how? <laughs> this lady's sweet. She's giving us directions. Okay, following you. Over the years, I've traveled the globe, 53 countries and counting. China, though, is on another scale, so immense with countless hidden treasures. There's something magnetic about this land that kept pulling me back urging me to uncover more. The people, remarkably open, friendly, and outgoing. You just need to take that leap, propel yourself forward, and embrace the unknown. Running became my daily compass, guiding me through unfamiliar streets and unexpectedly introducing me to locals, including curious children I might not have met otherwise. When my shoes gave in, I shrugged them off, wandered into a shopping mall, tried on some fresh ones, and kept forging ahead. This is a country that knows how to truly live. It's early morning, 7.45 a.m. Humidity so thick, every now and then I gotta wipe the fog and the mist off the lens so you can see a clear shot of this. A little bit cloudy this morning. Yesterday morning was clear, but the sand is soft. The sounds of the waves rolling in, and look at that, some cows on the beach down this way. You might be noticing a lot of the Chinese flags in this footage. In fact, this week it's a national holiday week, a six day holiday week combined with the autumn festival, so an eight day festival. So you're seeing a lot more Chinese flags around, a lot more national pride in the country. I like it. It's quite amazing. In any little town like this, you can find temples. You get the red lanterns up too. Over to my right is this river. Off in the distance, some mountains, a woman singing there on the bridge. It's time for Gregor to try now. Is he as talented and can he make it to the finals of China Got Talent? Oh, she's showing me the words, but they're in Chinese. I have been to Germ Germany and France in uh, five years ago, and I'm doing there for traveling purpose, you know. Yeah. yeah. When you go abroad and you come back to China, what's one of the things that kind of surprises you about your own country? I think that the infrastructures, the airports, uh, the transportation is somehow is advent advanced. It's superior. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, you're not just saying that. I think that too, because if you go to a, even a train station mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in China, a train station in China seems as modern as an airport in, in Europe, I think.
How long have you ever lived outside of China? Wow, in total, I think around like 12, 13 years. What's your experience like as a Chinese abroad in Europe? Food, definitely. I'm missing all kinds of Chinese food in uh, Europe, basically, because they're cooking differently. If you go to an uh, Asian restaurant, it's not uh, really real Chinese food, I would say. If you have someone who's curious about visiting China, mm -hmm. what would you tell them? Why should they come to see China? Well, first of all, we've got beautiful country, right? And then we have a nice, you know, water town uh, in an old-fashioned way. And also a modern city like Shanghai. I um, love Shanghai. Yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's so many things you can see here. Xi Xi. Good morning. I just wanted to share with you real quick the view out here. The clouds are clearing, we got the mountains. The people are beginning their day down below. Earlier I saw a group of older women down there doing their morning calisthenics, stretching, dancing to some music. It's a peaceful atmosphere. This is the hotel. You have a lot of great hotels in China. You get a lot of simple, just straight up, you know, get the job done hotels, and that's where I am tonight. Nothing fancy, nothing basic. When you travel to China, they have these US, Japan style plugs like this or the Australian type. You see more of the US type here, so make sure you have your proper adapters when you're coming to China. Here's the bathroom, the shower. You get all the things that you'd normally find in a bathroom. Toilets look the same, this isn't Japan. Always in China, you get a hot water heater for your teas, or if you wanna make a cup, cup of ramen. This is a particular thing with China are the slippers. They always have you the slippers because people will shower in those. They'll go down to breakfast in those. Slippers are always found within hotel rooms. Enough of that. Let's get out there and enjoy the day. We're in this tiny little, tiny little village. Here they probably have a half million people, maybe nearing a million people in Wuzhushan. So Wuzhushan means the five-fingered mountain covering up the, the mad monkey. The monkey, not bad. It's a story known all over Japan, right? Uh, excuse me, all over China. WeChat Pay finally works on my phone. You have to set it up on your WeChat, connect your credit card, your bank account. They go through a process. You have to put in your passport or your identification. And then after three days, if you have money in your WeChat account, you can use your WeChat. And I just paid for our coffee, so success. No, but really, this unlocks everything. This means I can get the DD taxi anywhere I want to go. I can easily get street food. I don't have to pull out RMB cash because even in street food vendor places, anywhere you go, if you pull out cash, they look at you like you're from the 1980s. Now everybody uses Alipay or WeChat Pay, and WeChat pays through the WeChat uh, chat account, which is like a WhatsApp. So be prepared to pay digitally when you come here because your credit card won't work. Otherwise, you have to go old school and carry around cash. And just to give you an idea of what the old school stuff looks like, here it is. And my recommendation is always carry some RMB just as a backup in case your phone's dead or you don't have internet connection. And guess what we have? <laughs> Woo! Ice cold beer! We have Anne Wu. I've known her for how many years? More than 10 years. Would you recommend to someone to visit China if they've never visited? Why not go to Japan? Why not go to Because come to Taiwan? China is uh, kind of an adventure, you know? Yeah. Because I think most people, they don't understand China. They always uh, thinking China like uh, what they read in the news. But yeah. exactly, it's totally different. Yes. It's yes. totally different. Yes, that was my first impression when I came in 2010. Okay, as a foreign, look at this. We got chicken feet here. Yes, also chicken feet. Should we eat this stuff? Got it. Yeah, we eat this. Actually, chicken feet is delicious. And also this, I think some liver, yes. Yes, what liver. Is, oh, those are... This is a chicken wing. Chicken wings? Yeah. Oh, we like chicken. Oh, there's chicken feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's another very big chicken feet. Those are bigger. Yeah, so, no, is this it, is ducks. Oh, that's ducks feet. Yeah, yeah, this is ducks feet. 
，欢迎来中国，希望在中国能够见到大家。Come to China, everybody. Bad news. Rest in peace. We hit a bird on the road. That doesn't look good. And the name of the car is called Build Your Dreams. Just at a、uh, rest stop here in China while they're cleaning the bird off the car.、Uh, look at this. You can really get a lot of cool, different coffee drinks here in these places. Also, rest stops anywhere in the world are pretty cool to check out. All the little different items, cooking oils, even wine,、uh, anything you can find. Little snacks. Chinese love their snacks as they do in Japan as well. No, I'm not staying here on this trip. But in China, you'll see there are luxury hotels all over the place. We're in Sanya, the most popular resort town on the resort island of Hainan. And if you have the money, you can splurge on great hotels not only in Hainan but all over the mainland. So my plan is to take a quick dip in the pool. Quick, because we have to leave the island of Hainan here, and we're flying north to Nanning in Guangxi, and it's on the mainland of China. In the south, China's southern province on the mainland. Well, I'm gonna miss this little resort island. We made our way onto a little elementary school track. Security guy's down there. I don't think he wants us on this track. Can we run? 稍微这个你们来就好，不稍微你你们的话，稍微我们 no. Yes or no? That means you're now thinking. How? How? Okay. 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 She, she. She, she. All right. We don't know what he said, but I said the word for okay, which is how, and he said how. It turned us back on us. So here we are. Next thing you know, Kapiti for the Chinese national team in Paris. <laughs> yeah, buddy. Here we go.、Yes. Boom. And we're went around looking for some food because we really didn't have a lunch today. We found this little place here, and I'm getting a savory、uh, crepe, and Sores is getting a. What are you getting? I'm getting the spinach crepe. Here's what we're looking at: savory crepe and the spinach crepe. China is delicious. I love it. I love it. Street food in China. I love it. One of the cool things that's happened in China over the last ten years is the change from. Motor motorbikes to electric-powered motorbikes, scooters, and I wish they would have that in big cities like Bangkok or the cities in Italy. Because you go to these cities, you can smell them, you can hear them. Meow. They're annoying. I know on the street where I live in Italy, they're buzzing by all the time. They're loud. Here, we're in a big city, and you don't hear the rumble of the motorbike zipping by all the time. About half the cars are electric as well. It's made walking through a big city in China that much more pleasant. Not to mention the smell and the pollution that comes along with motorbikes. So let's hope this is a change that happens all around the world. And I think this is one of the things that might surprise you when you're here in China. Zaijian,、mm. ho ho ho! I just want to encourage you when you're in China and you see little shops,、uh, if you can. Try if you can stomach it. Go into different places. Try the foods out. That cost me 26 RMB for the hamburger of the East. Pretty good stuff, and the people so friendly in there as well. All right, now I'm heading over to the 7-Eleven, the M Y J. Maybe I can get some cold bottled coffee. Then I gotta get going. Anyhow, I'm walking through one of the many malls in China. It's basically similar, very similar to the malls you'd see in the United States. They have some of the international brands here, as well as Liying, some of the Chinese brands, Anta as well, and of course, friendly people. Everybody's always happy to say hello when they see a foreign face. You'll love it here. You can get all your shopping done, and also there are plenty of food options, just like in the big major U.S. malls. You get the food courts up above as well. And these often have Starbucks inside. So we got our order in. Needed a lot of patience. Got some lobster. Got some abalone. About twelve of them. All you got was an omelet as well. As well. As... No, I, I also got the tofu. Perfect. Yeah, we have this. 
I don't. That's ah, disgusting. Uh, what is that? Some it's some like some you gotta love China. Look at this. Well, the oysters seem to be very, very spicy. I'm nearly crying myself. So the big question is: Is Gregor also gonna cry when he's trying the oysters? Let's tune in right now. I'm gonna suck one down, and we'll see if I end up crying afterwards. Johnny, Barry. <laughs> I don't think they're on my side. Here we go. I made a bit of the mess, but to be honest, this is not spicy unless there's a second kick that comes along with it. I'm gonna go for a second round. Abalone number two. We got garlic, we got peppers, and we got goodness. Here we go. All right, guess I'm just weak. No, it was nothing, mate. Okay, to be honest, slight kick afterwards. It's withstandable. <laughs> Hello. 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 If you're in China, you want to order ice beer, you have to say Bing Pi Jiao. Bing Pi Jiao. Bing Pi Jiao. So the good thing here at Chinese restaurants, a lot of these places have photos to show off the food. So. If you're not understanding the language or for your, your Google Photo Translate doesn't work, you can easily just look and point and say, I want that one, and then you order that way. So we got this massive plate of snails. Do you eat snails? Let me know down in the comments. Here we go. I don't suck them out. This is gonna be tricky. I don't know how to do this. So in China, the sidewalks are not great to run on. We end up often running in the motorbike car lanes. Ni hao, ni hao. We're now in this city called Nanning. By population is bigger than LA. Nine million people here. Soars. Nine million. It's incredible, isn't it? That's half the Netherlands. Left half the Netherlands. Is all in one city. And like any big city in the world, people are out exercising after work. It may surprise you, but Chinese stay fit. They exercise. So I just learned a new phrase, how to say I love wa ah. And we're in Nanin. Wa a Nanin! Wa a Nanin! I do love Nanin. It's a great city. And I feel like they all love me here. My favorite food is um, rice noodle. It's Lao You, right? Old friend rice noodle. Yeah. It's like a very spicy and a little bit sour. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Foreign people's. Uh, live in here or come here, um, they are very fascinated about Chinese landscape really? and food and also Chinese people, yeah. I think. Because China is a very um, big country and their culture is also very um, different. Yeah. And the culture is very, how to say, splendid, something yeah. like that. Woo! It's spicy tonight! And we got some shish kebab <laughs> happening here. Look at that. That might be the biggest one you've ever seen. I gotta pop in some tofu and then we're gonna get to that. Here we go. Here we go. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Is that lamb? Yes, I love it. Wow. Look at that. Shishim. Head to toe. <laughs> Head to toe butchering here in China. We eat every part of the animal. It's truly the most eco-friendly, sustainable style of eating. You could almost call it vegan, even. Want to try it? No. Here we are. I eat cow stomach in, in Florence. Chicken feet in China. I mean, in the toenails as well. What's your wish to drink tonight? Masai! 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 This is stunning up here. I just want to let you know I'm putting out a regular email newsletter with all sorts of travel tips and hacks and stories from my adventures around the world, like here in China. I'm currently at the Nonga Mountain Reserve. There's a massive temple behind me and a pagoda. Down there, there's a visitor center and a beautiful road leading up through these karst mountains to get to this point here. Now, there was a shuttle bus going up here, 
that I decided to walk it just to get out and soak in some of this nature. I'm a bit out of breath. Last night we had a lot of beers. Well, I wanted to walk all the way up, but a friendly police officer back down that way wouldn't let me do so. So the kind gentleman here driving the golf cart let me in and <laughs> meow. We're like tourists on a tour bus, seeing the sights in Disneyland and these sites merit your visit. To our presenters, please move to the lounge area. Welcome to China. <laughs> Thank you. Bye bye. Uh, bye bye. Well, it's 7.57 in the morning. This is China in the morning. And just like any other major city around the world, it's buzz, horns are honking. It's coming alive. It's a calm city and over there is the walking street. I was there last night having a look. Shops selling noodles, people starting their morning. Look at these people buzzing here on the sidewalk on their scooters trying to get to where they need to go for work. But it's just great to see the orderly fashion, people going to work. You see some street food stalls as well. And also because I need good fast internet this morning, I'm making my way over here to a Starbucks. I'm getting interviewed this morning by, by these guys from uh, Chinese media and happy to do so because, hey, why not? I love Guanxi and love China. Now let's get into it. One of the things you might not be expecting when you're in China is to just get mobbed like you're from a boy band or something. Ni hao, hello. 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 <laughs> They're super friendly. They always want a selfie. Let's yes, do it, yes. let's do it. Yes. Selfie? Selfie? Maybe they don't. <laughs> Photo? Yes! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go. Yes. It really brings a smile to my face to walk around and experience this because it's just an opportunity to meet new people and new cultures and open yourself to people trying to speak your language, trying to understand your culture, our culture, as we try to unravel and understand the culture of China. Yeah. 